Hey my awesome people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to use a Lottie animation as your Togo hamburger icon, just like this over here. So it only animates once I'm hovering over it and once I click over there, then I'm able to show up my off canvas menu or your menu items. Without any further ado, let's jump straight into the video. I'll head to my dashboard Inside my dashboard, I'll go to the templates area and open up my theme builder. Right inside my header, I have three columns. So I have this column, this other column, and this other column. And we are going to add our Togo hamburger icon over right here. By default, when you use the Elementor nav widget, you get this kind of Togo hamburger button. And you can style it the way you want. But in case you want to use a custom icon that is animated. And that's why we are making this tutorial. So I'm going to simply delete this over here. I'll go to my Lottie files. I have already selected this animated hamburger icon that I want to use in my header to trigger my menu. In this case, I want to first of all change its color to a color of my preference. And to be able to do that, you have to be logged into Lottie files. You can simply create a free account. So what I'm going to do is simply come over here to edit layers. And as you can see over here, the grouped color is black. So I'm going to change that to white. And I'll simply update. You don't see it over here because the background is white as well. What I'll do now is to download the icon. I'll click download. I'll come back into my Elementor website and I'm going to first of all select the Lottie widget from Elementor. I'll drag it into my section. Now I'll come over here to the source file. I can either link a media file or an external file using a URL. Ideally, we could just copy this URL here, but I prefer to have the Lottie uploaded on my website so i'll simply just say media file and then i'll choose the file i'll upload the file and select that file and voila there i have my file that has the already changed color right so i'll close this over when you return over here to our header you realize that only our lottie animates on hover you see so that's what we want as well do when i come back here i'm going to select my lottie and I'll come here to settings and I want to trigger the Loti only on hover. All right, so when I hover over it now, it does animate. As well, you can set it to click so that it can only animate once someone clicks on it. I'll set it back to on hover. And that's all I have to do over here. I want to make sure that when someone clicks on this Loti over here, they're able to display our off canvas menu. And to do that, we're simply going to come over here on the link option and we're going to choose a custom URL. And under custom URL, you will click on the database option for the dynamic tags and we will select the pop-up option. And in this case, we want to open a pop-up and that will be our main menu pop-up. Beautiful. So I'll simply now update. Just make sure that you have already built up your pop-up that will show up once someone clicks on the Lottie animation. If you don't know how to do that, I'm going to be leaving a link right down in the description of this video so you can follow it step by step and be able to throw up that pop-up once someone clicks on the Lottie. Right, we'll set our icon size to 85%, which is the width and the maximum size to be 100. And under advanced positioning, just make sure that you set up, for example, on the desktop version, we're going to give it a custom a custom width of 109 or 110 and for the horizontal orientation i made it 13.2 pixels and the vertical orientation i made it negative 20. when i move to the tablet device you simply just have to change the orientation to negative 125 so when you slide this you move it either to the right or to the left hand side so i prefer to leave it at that position then on the mobile device I set it to be at 36.2 on the horizontal orientation and made it negative 25 on the vertical orientation. Once you're done, simply update. Now let's go and preview this. Now desktop looks fine and the icons are clickable. And when I click on it, obviously our off canvas shows up. Let's see how this looks like on a mobile device. Beautiful. There it is. And animates on hover. And if you want to increase on the number of breakpoints on which kind of devices you want to set up for responsiveness of this icon or the header, you're going to simply click here on the settings and come over here to the breakpoints and you can add 
an extra tablet, an extra mobile, uh, a laptop, or even a white screen. That way it will enable you to even position this icon really well on those other devices. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope this tutorial brought you value and now you can use your custom made or animated lotis as your hamburger togo icons here in your header. If you like the video, please don't forget to give it a like. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, have a good time and goodbye.